We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 5, Chapter 1, The Activities of Maharaj Priyavrata, text number 38. Read the word meaning. Читаем <говорит> Во всем следующем Между своими сыновьями. Има. Има. Эту землю. Ядхадаям по праву наследства. Випаджа разделив. Бхуктабхогам подаривший ему столько наслаждений. Ча также. Махишим царицу. Витакам Ива, Витакам Ива, словно мертвое тело, Заха, За, вместе, Маха Вибхутин, Маха огромное богатство, Абахаям, Абахая, оставив, Сваям, Сваям, Сам. Нигита, Нигита, полностью. Нирведа, Нирведа, отрешенный. Приди, приди, сердце. Прита, Прита, принявший. Хари, Хари, верховной личности Бога. Верховной личности Бога. Вихара, Вихара, игры. Анбхава, Анбхава, тот, у кого такой образ мысли, Бхагавата, великого святого, Нарадася, Нарады, Падавим, положение, Пуна, снова, Эйва, конечно, Анусара начал следовать. Перевод и комментарий божественного месте. Обача на рейтинге Тиданта Сара. Шилпрупад, очарь основатель международного общества Санца Знания Кришны. Шилпрупад. По милости Верховной Личности Бога Махараджа Преобрата, словно очнулся от сна, все свои земные владения он разделил между послушными ему сыновьями, полностью избавившись от мирских привязанностей, он остался женой, подарившей ему, подарившей ему столько наслаждений, и отрекся от огромного процветающего царства. И тогда сердце его очистилось и превратилось в место игр Верховной Личности Бога. 
Так Махараджа Пьяврата вернулся на путь сознания Кришны и снова, посвятив себя духовной жизни, занял то же самое положение, которого когда-то достиг по благословению великого святого Нагада. В одном из стихов Шикшашники Шичитания Махапрабху провозглашает Чейто Дарпана Маджина, Ава Махадаварги Нирвапана, когда мы очистим свое сердце, бушующий в нем пожар материальной жизни погаснет. Наше сердце должно быть местом игр Верховной Личности Бога. А это значит, что нам нужно постоянно находиться в сознании Кришны, думать о Кришне, как Он сам нам советует Манмана, Бамаман, Бхакту, Мадья Джиман, Намаскуру. Больше от нас ничего не требуется. Тот, чье сердце нечисто, не способен думать о трансцендентных играх Верховной Личности Бога. Но если человек откроет свое сердце для Верховного Господа, то очень скоро избавится от всех материальных привязанностей. Йоги и гьяни, исповедующие учения Майвады, пытаются отринуть материальный мир. Они говорят, Брахма Сатям Джаган Митя, этот мир нереален. Для чего вообще он нужен? Давайте лучше растворимся в Брахмане. Однако подобные теории не принесут нам никакой пользы. Если мы и в самом деле верим, что истина – это Брама, мы должны поместить в свое сердце лотосные стопы Шри Кришны, как это сделал Махараджа Амбариша. Савай Малах Кришна подаравим даю. Нужно сделать так, чтобы лотосные стопы Господа навсегда остались в нашем сердце. Тогда мы обретем силу, которая позволит нам разорвать путы материальной жизни. Махараджа Приаврата отказался от процветающего царства. Более того, он расстался со своей прекрасной женой, так, будто ее больше не было в живых. Какой бы красивой жена ни была, когда она умирает, ее тело теряет всякую привлекательность. Люди воспевают красоту женского тела, но когда из этого тела уходит душа, она уже не может пробудить желание ни в одном мужчине. По милости Господа Махараджа Приаврата обладал огромной духовной силой. Хотя его красавица жена была жива, он отказался от общения с ней так, словно внезапно обдавел. С читанием Хапрабу говорил, «Надханам наджанам на сундарим, кавитам ва джагадиша камаи, мама джанмани джанмани ишвари, паватат бхакти рагайтуки твои». О всемогущий Господь, мне не нужно ни богатства, ни прекрасных женщин, ни последователей. Единственное, чего я хочу, это жизнь за жизнью, бескорыстно служить тебе. Привязанность к богатству и красивой жене – вот два серьезных препятствия на духовном пути. Говорится, что сохранять эти привязанности еще хуже, чем совершить самоубийство. Поэтому каждый, кто хочет пересечь океан невидения, должен искать милости Кришны, чтобы избавиться от привязанности к женщинам и деньгам. И когда Махараджа Приаврата полностью избавился от этих привязанностей, он снова смог без помех следовать наставлениям великого мудреца Нарда. Да. Mm -hmm. Просили текст на английском тоже прочитать есть. Слушающий на английском. Текст на английском. Махарадж, there are some devotees on Skype, they ask asking you to read the text on English. No, it's gonna take some time, it's quite a long time. Только текст без комментария. Just the verse translation. Just the verse translation. Just the verse translation. Not the purport. No. Okay. Translation. By the grace of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Maharaj Priyavrata reawakened to his senses. He, he divided all his earthly possessions among his obedient sons. He gave up everything, including his wife, with whom he had enjoyed so much sense gratification and his great and opulent kingdom and he completely renounced all attachment. His heart, having been cleansed, became a place of pastimes for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <coughs> Thus he was able to return to the path of Krishna consciousness spiritual life and resume the position he had attained by the grace of the great saint Narada. 
Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Vricharine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Pashyachadishitari Vanjakao Patarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhaiva Chapadita Nam Bhavani Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Vata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Maharaj Priyavrata as a young man was very fortunate, he got the association of Narada Muni who trained him in spiritual practice. However, he was obliged to give up his spiritual practice and go back to material life and take the position of being the ruler of a great kingdom. But after some time he was able to also give up that position of being a big ruler. And he realized how the material life was not very pleasant. He realized how he'd become a slave to a beautiful wife. And because of his affection for his wife, he completely forgot about his spiritual practice. So later in, at the, in his life he could understand the necessity to renounce the world. So he gave up all of his big position and he gave up his wealth also. He divided the kingdom among his sons. And he also even left his wife who we're told was very beautiful. Because he understood that if he wanted to be successful in his spiritual practice, he has to detach himself from the material. So we may say, well, you can see the wife also as a spiritual person. You don't have to give up the wife if you have, if you can see the wife as being a devotee, as being Krishna conscious. But Maharaj Priyavrata, he considered that he didn't have that vision of his wife. That he thought, he thought of his wife as simply being an object for his sense gratification. And so he gave up. This is what you have to do if you're serious, when you get serious about spiritual practice. Serious, 
Now at some point in our life we have to recognize that these relationships are going to come to an end. For some people the wife will die. But what if you die before the wife? We die, that means we die, we'll be thinking of the wife. Next life you become a woman. Because you'll be thinking, my beautiful wife. And Bhagavad Gita says whatever we remember at the end of life, that will be our destination in the next life. So if we have to, if we die before the wife, and there's no guarantee who's going to die, she mm -hmm. don't know. But if we die ahead before the wife, certainly we'll be thinking of the wife. So some people they will say, well, I wait, you know, the wife will die first, let the wife die. And when the wife dies, then I will be more dedicated to spiritual <coughs> But then when she dies, then, it, then you feel very, it's very difficult because then you're on your own. Before you were enjoying the company of the wife, but when she's gone, then you're on your own and you feel difficult. Just like Srila Prabhupada had a wife and he had children. He didn't just have one children, one child, he had, he had five children, he had three sons. But he, he, he realized he had to give them up. Because they became a problem for this Krishna consciousness. When the child is young, you, they can be, you can, they'll do what you tell them, you can make them devotees. But gradually they grow up and then it becomes more and more difficult. The one man who was here yesterday, the disciple of Bhakti Bhai Bhav, who was playing harmonium, what's his name, is that Kopla? Goranga Roy. Goranga Roy. Goranga Roy. He told me his son, he said he was a devotee up till 13. He said, after 13 then I couldn't get him to come anymore, he stopped chanting. He said to me yesterday, he said, he said, if I had known that my children were not going to be devotees, he said, I don't think I would have married. He was thinking, you know, I'll get married, we'll have some children, the children will be nice to both But, very difficult. They grow up and they have their own way, their own, even Prabhupada's children, not very good to both. A little bit, not much, difficult to have a Krishna conscious family. And especially if the wife is very beautiful, the, the beautiful wife is the enemy of the man who is trying to the more good looking the woman is, the more we are attached to the woman. 
and makes it very difficult for us to be Krishna conscious. So that's why Priyavrata separated himself from his wife. He got away from his wife, he got away from his kingdom, he got away from his family. And he got away from all of his wealth. Because these things are very hard, they're, 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 they're objects of attachment. We have some money, we, value, we, want that, we want to enjoy that money. Well, we, we, people who have money, they'll invest it, they want to make it more. So money is a, a, a something which we get very attached to, we're very much, uh, we don't like to, to, to lose it naturally, you have some money, you don't want to, to lose it. Prabhupada says, we don't use it for the service of Krishna, he said, you may have to use it, you have to pay lawyers or you have to pay doctors. You know, you get some money, <coughs> we don't use it for the service of Krishna, Maya will find some way to take it. Потому что если мы не задействуем наше богатство в служении Кришне, то Майя найдет так или иначе способ отобрать нас. And Maya comes in these forms that you get involved in some legal dispute somewhere and you have to pay lawyers. И Майя иногда так проявляется, что человек, например, влипает в какие-то судебные разбирательства, и ему необходимо платить суду или платить адвокату. And lawyers, they make, they get a lot of money. I was in Hong Kong and there was this one man, one man I know, he, was, he, he said, just a minute, I have to speak to my lawyer. He told him. I, yeah, I went to see this one man, Indian man, businessman, and he said, he said, just give me, he said, I'm just going to speak to my lawyer. He said, when I speak to my lawyer, he charges me for every minute. He said, but every time I call him, he times the call and I pay by the minute. Not cheap. Big money. And you need to spend a lot of money on lawyers. And then, if you don't pay lawyers, you pay doctors. Doctors will do some operation, cutting. <laughs> <laughs> and medicines you'll get, you have to buy from these doctors. Very big money. Doctors, you know, you, you get us. This one other man I knew in Hong Kong, he's a businessman, he went to get the, the heart operation. So I, I, I asked him, I said, uh, how was the operation, how did everything go, was it, did it successful? I asked the man, was the operation successful? He said, oh, they cut me up to here. <laughs> He said, they charged me so much money. This other man, 
he was living in India, he went to America to get operation. Один индус, он отправился в Америку, чтобы там операцию пройти. He went to the number one hospital in America. номер один в Америке. And he died. И умер там. He went all the way to America to get the operation, and he died. Весь путь проделал через полземного Алашара, чтобы попасть на операцию в Америку, и там скончался. People spend a lot of money on these two things. Знаете, две вещи. If you don't spend your money for Krishna, you spend it for Maya. Если не потратите деньги на Кришну, придется тратить на Майю. Maya will take it in the form of these people. Maya заберет это в форме вот этих вот людей. Just like the, the the one guy, one of the Beatles. Do you know the Beatles? George Harrison? He was a Beatle. There was another Beatle called Paul McCartney. Вы знаете, да, группа Битлз, все по именам, вы знаете, там Джордж Харрисон был из Битлз, а также там был другой знаменитый участник, колист Пол Маккартни. So Paul McCartney is one of the richest men in the world. Пол Маккартни, он один из богатейших людей в мире. Very rich guy. Очень богатый парень. He has, the, he makes, he's veg, he's vegetarian, he makes a veggie sausage. Он вегетарианец, он даже, он пускает специальные вегетарианские сосиски. And of course he has so many famous songs, you know, he did one song with Michael Jackson, him and Michael Jackson together. So all the time he's getting money, money's coming into to him all the time. He has millions and millions. So first wife, he was Linda, her name was Linda McCartney, she died. Первая его супруга его звали Линда Маккартни, она умерла. But then he met, he got involved with this other woman. А потом он женился на другой. And the, and his kids, you know, had kids from the first marriage. His kids were telling him, she just wants your money. А его дети с первого брака они говорили ему, слушай, пап, она просто хочет твои деньги. But anyway, he got married. Но так или иначе он все равно женился. And after some time. Then the divorce. А через некоторое через короткое время последовал развод. And when the divorce came. She wanted the money. А когда развод случился, она захотела половину его денег. Big money. She took a lot of money. Огромную сумму она хватила. He said, oh, I still have some money. Он говорит, ну мне хоть что-то осталось. But she took so much money. Но она столько денег брала. So the, the material world just yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. With money and women are very big problems in the path of self-realization. And that is why people who are serious about self-realization, they will renounce the world. They will give up the women and they will give up the money. Они оставляли отношения с женщинами и с деньгами. Okay. You don't have any money, you won't have any money. Если у вас нет денег, то и женщин у вас тоже не будет. Потому что женщине необходимо no money, А без женщин, без денег, как, как вы женщин будете держать? Вы будете просто бесполезным неудачником. So, Priyavrata got rid of the, got away from these two things. Because he became very serious about making spiritual advancement. And he knew that if he keeps, if he keeps money, it will just attract materialistic people. When you have a lot of money, you, you people will come, you, you don't know. If they're your friend or, or not, you don't know what their motive is. They're pretending to be your friend. We had this one lady in Malaysia, this one lady in Malaysia, she was a very rich doctor. But she, you know, in her old age she was sick. And she was on the bed. She was 
Но уже в пожилом возрасте она заболела и она лежала в прикованной кровати. So she had she had this woman who was this other lady was helping her supposed to be taking care of her. И за ней ухаживала другая женщина, она помогала и ухаживала за ней. But what she was doing, the lady, she was taking care of her, but at the same time she was taking the, her money, taking the rich lady's money. Secretly or openly? Huh? Openly or secretly? Secretly, yeah. Yeah, without the lady knowing. Она ухаживала за ней, за этой больной, но на самом деле тайком она от нее приборовывала. After some time, then the lady, the doctor, she discovered that you know a lot of her money had gone. Через какое-то время эта пожилая, эта больная врач она обнаружила, что огромная сумма денег пропала. Where did it go? Куда же делось? This lady was supposed to be taking care of it. She had taken a lot of the money. Девушка, женщина, которая не должна была пойти заботиться, она все забрала. Very common. Сейчас распространено. Material world. Материальный мир. Everybody's trying to get more money. They're thinking money is a honey. Есть такая даже поговорка деньги, money like a honey. Деньги они подобны мёду. They do not know Krishna is sweeter than the sweetest honey. Но они такие люди не знают, что Кришна он слаще самого сладкого мёда. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Prophet quotes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nadanam, I don't want wealth. I don't want followers. What do we want? We simply want devotional service. Prabhupada never worried about money. He went to America. With no money. If you go to America today, though, I, how much money have you got? <laughs> you just want to know if you have no money, if you don't have enough money, to go back. <laughs> I remember the first time I went, I think I, I said, uh, I, 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 I thought I had a lot of money. They said, Is that all we have got? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was surprised. He said, "Is that all you've got?" Я помню первый раз, когда я поехал в Америку, я думал, у меня с собой нормальная сумма такая. Но у меня, когда я сказал эту сумму, назвал на границе, они так и не посмотрели, люди мне сказали, "Это все, что у тебя есть?" No, one last two days. Это что, когда два дня тебе хватит? And Prabhupada also came there. What did Prabhupada have? Prabhupada he sold a set of Bhagavatams on the ship to the captain. Он вообще без денег пропал туда отправился. Единственный день, который он заработал, это с продажи комплекта Шимад Багова, там, капитана корабля, на котором он был, 20 so, долларов. So the captain gave him 20 dollars. Капитан дал ему 20 долларов. It was the only money he had. Это были все деньги, которые у него были с собой. And Prabhupada said, 20 dollars in America, is it a few hours? А Прабхупад говорил, 20 долларов в Америке, это просто на пару часов. But Prabhupada didn't worry about money. And even like when George Harrison became interested in Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada never asked him for money. Prabhupada just preached on him. He just preached the glories of Krishna and the spiritual world. And, and then George Harris, he became convinced, and, and that's why he bought Bhaktivedanta Manor. George had a big house himself. He was living in a big house with a big garden. And Prabhupada went there to visit. He invited Prabhupada to his house, so Prabhupada went there to see his house. And, and Prabhupada was, was telling him, he said, yeah, Krishna has given you this, Krishna gave you fame, Krishna gave you money. So Prabhupada was preaching to him about Krishna consciousness and at the end George said, he said, I want to buy you, I want to buy you a big house like this also in London. 
И вы знаете, Джордж Харрисон сказал, что попали, что попали. Я хочу также вам что-то пожертвовать, такой же дом большой. So he said, the next day, practically, George Harrison called up the, the real estate people and said, I want another house, like... And that's the Bhaktivedanta man. Thousands of people come there. That Krishna acting on people, inspiring them to serve. But if we don't serve Krishna, we serve Maya. When we see people working very hard to get money, they want money for their sense gratification. And their sense gratification comes with the opposite sense. They enjoy the company of the other sex. So in the very culture, there is always segregation between the sexes. The man will be with the man, the women will be with the women. But in the Western society now, you know, men and women are mixed everywhere. You work in the office, you work, you know, there'll be women, there'll be men. You work in the bank, you work in some place, there's men and there are women. И везде точно так же, в банке, в любой, на заводе. And you associate together, and naturally you get, you get attachments and feelings for each other. И вы общаетесь, а в результате общения неизбежно возникает какая-то привязанность и чувство. So it's important that to try to separate, to keep, minimize the association. Поэтому необходимо сознательно держать дистанцию и минимизировать общение с противоположным полом. The, the man wants the man can associate with his own wife, doesn't associate with other women. And gradually you have to give up that association. The very culture is after Grihasta life. Then you come to Vanaprastha life. Vanaprastha is from the age of 50. The Vedas say Pancha Sordvam Vanam Brajet. From the age of 50 you, you should go to the forest. Of oh, course, Russia you can easily go to forest. <laughs> no, many forests here. But in the Kali Yuga we say go to the Krishna conscious movement. Because it's not very easy to go to the forest today. So take shelter of the Krishna consciousness. And in that way, by coming to Krishna consciousness, then you can minimize the association with the other sex. And we are constantly hearing also about the importance of spiritual life. Также здесь в обществе преданных мы постоянно слышим о важности, необходимости so Maharaj, жизни. Maharaj Priyavrata, he put Krishna in his heart. Priyavrata, он поместил Кришну в свое сердце. First of all, he cleaned the heart, 
and then he put Krishna in it. He cleaned the heart by chanting the holy name and by renouncing the material things. But sometimes you give up material things, sometimes you get you, 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 again you get some other material thing. You give up one house, sometimes you get another house. No. Get a house in the dam. <laughs> you have a house, you give up your material house, you get a house in the dam. You get another house. So you, and you don't want that to happen. So you have to put Krishna in your heart. Right, Prabhupada is quoting Maharaj Ambarish, how he had Krishna in his heart. Of course, Krishna is in everyone's heart. But he's covered. We've covered Krishna by so many at other attachments. We have to give up this material attachment. And, and we do that by devotional service. By chanting the holy name. And by constantly hearing and glorifying Krishna, worshipping Krishna. Just like we're doing this morning, we're doing Arti and Guru Puja, and now I'm discussing Srimad Bhagavatam. And this way there's no, the, all the material attachments are put aside. Mm, instead it's just Krishna. Mm, from Arti, Guru Puja, Sulti Puja, Bhagavatam, it's all Krishna consciousness. And this way the heart becomes clean, we keep Krishna in the heart. Just like we plant the seeds, when you put the seeds in the ground you have to water them. So we have the seed of devotion in the heart. But we have to water that seed through hearing and chanting. But when you water the seeds, the weeds will also grow. You have to know which one is the weed and which one is the plant. You can see here all the little toasties growing. So you have to watch which one is the weed, which one is the plant. So the same way in the heart, we have things in the heart. We have seeds. There's a seed of devotion for Krishna. But there are other seeds in the heart. There are seeds of desire, desire for material enjoyment. Sometimes we want profit, we want adoration, we want distinction. Mm, these things, these are the very big enemies of our bhakti. We have to recognize which are the weeds, which are the things which are going to stop the growth of devotion. 
эти сорняки, которые мешают росту лиана преданности. Но чтобы обрести такую способность различать, нам необходимо милость Кришны и необходимо молиться о такой милости. Нам необходима милость Кришны, чтобы суметь различить, что правильно, а что неправильно, что полезно, что вредно. What is good for my Krishna consciousness? Что благоприятно для моего сознания Кришны? We have to know what what is our what is our capability. Также мы должны четко оценивать свои возможности. So, Prabhupada is not saying that everybody has to give up their home. Prabhupada не говорил, что все должны оставить дом. We cannot imitate Priyavrata. Мы не можем имитировать Махараджа Приобрату. You know, we cannot just give up our wife and children. Мы не можем сейчас взять вдруг и оставить свою жену детей. But we should gradually cultivate detachment from this thing. Но, по крайней мере, мы должны постепенно культивировать отрешенность от этих предметов. We have to be very cautious in dealing with these things. И необходимо также с особым вниманием And the way to protect ourselves is by good sadhana. Just like Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he had a family. His first wife died, he married again. And he had Eleven children. У него было одиннадцать детей. But he is written in the Vaishnava songbook. He tells, "Yedina grehe bhajana deke greheti goloka baya." Yedina, he said, "When I'm at home in my home with my family, when I'm worshiping the deity, yedina grehe bhajana deke, doing my bhajan." He said, "Then Grehiti Goloka, my home becomes a spiritual." И он в одном из своих сборников песен он пишет в одной песне этот удивительный стих, где он говорит о том, что когда я в своем собственном доме вместе с своей семьей провожу арати, поклоняюсь Господу, то мой дом превращается в Голоку. So for somebody like Bhaktivinoda Thakur, the whole his home is the spiritual world. Поэтому для такого преданного к нам не бактерон такой, даже его дом становится духовным миром. But if you're like Haranya Kashipu, Haranya Kashipu, his he was told by Prahlad Maharaj, he said, you should go to the forest. Но если вы как Haranya Kashipu, тогда вам не как бактерон, то тогда вам больше подойдет совет Прахлада Махараджа, который он дал Haranya Kashipu. Он говорит, папа, тебе лучше в лес уйти. Your home. He said, "Your home is like the underkupam, the blind well." Он сказал ему, "Пап, твой дом, в котором ты живешь, твой дворец, это подобно заброшенному темному колодцу." Греха underkupam. Греха underkupam. For materialistic people who are like Harani Kashipu, who just want to enjoy sense gratification, then the home is like the blind well. Для таких материалистов, как Хирани Кашипу, которые не видят в жизни никакого другого смысла, кроме наслаждения своих чувств, дом и семья это просто заброшенный темный колодец. So Prahlad Maharaj told him, told his father, go to the forest. И поэтому Прахлад Махарадж дал отцу такой совет, лучше уйди в лес. So you can see the distinction. There's somebody like Bhaktivinoda Thakur and somebody like Хирани Кашипу. The Priyavrata is a nice example here how he he got entangled in material life, but some by the grace of Krishna he got out of it. Но постепенно, по милости Кришны, смог вернуться к своей духовной практике. 
this one devotee in Krishna consciousness, there was this one devotee, there was this one Indian man became a devotee. His name was uh, his name was what was his name? Mm. Anyway, this one man he 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 joined Krishna consciousness late in his life. He was Indian man. So when he was a young man, he was very religious and he was trained in Sanskrit and learned a lot of Shastra. But then he got married and had many children. And he got involved with family affairs. But it came time for him to retire, to give up working and everything. The children grew up and he was more free. So then he met the devotees. And when he met the devotees, he decided, not immediately, but after some time, he decided to get out from his home. And he said, he said, it's better that they're asking, where did he go? They should, the family should be asking, where is our father? Where is he gone? If the father doesn't go, one day the family will be saying to him, when are you going? <laughs> because when you get old, you'll just be a burden to the family. And they'll be saying, when are you going? So better you get out. And they're saying, oh, where did he go? Just like Dhritarashtra, he got out from the house. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada said in the purport, Dhritarashtra's time there was only one Dhritarashtra. In the time of 5,000 5, years ago there was only one Dhritarashtra. But today there is a Dhritarashtra in every home. People are stuck. And they need some viduras to come and preach to them, to get them out of the house. To free them from the entanglement in material life. So Vidura did that, he saved Tritarashtra. He got Dhritarashtra and his wife to leave the home. And Maharaj Yudhisthira is asking, where did they go? <coughs> but Maharaj Yudhisthira understood. He said, oh, I have been cheated by these great souls. And Prabhupada said, yes, great souls cheat for a great cause. And Prabhupada said, he also cheated his family. He got out from the house. He asked his wife, he said, what do you want? You want tea or do you want me? And she said, 
His wife would not stop drinking tea. Его жена все никак не прекращала пить чай. So Prabhupada one day asked her, what do you want, tea or milk? And she said, oh, I would rather have tea. So Prabhupada left home. He never went back. So that is successful grihastha life. Это семейная, успешная семейная, счастливая семейная жизнь. When you move on, когда вы двигаетесь дальше, into the detached, okay. okay. Any Хорошо. question? Есть вопросы? Есть вопросы? Я думаю, а вот не нагло ли будет, ну, в нашей материальной обычной жизни в Колею такой вопрос с ребром дома поставить? У меня вот ну, несколько школьников, детей, муж выпивает. И я скажу, или я, или алкоголь. Это и куда я пойду? Полукалили? С drinking sometimes, and I will tell him, uh, choose either me or alcohol. So what do you think? Is it a little bit bored? <laughs> well, man can do this, women cannot. <laughs> Women's position has to stay in the home. <laughs> But different for men. You cannot go out from the house. Вам не нужно дома оставаться. Sorry. Сидите дома. Я рада. Не выгодно. Чай, Скай. Ари Кришна Гуру Махарадж, примите, пожалуйста, мои смиренные поклоны. Сейчас слава Шри Прабхупаде. Вопрос от Юбати Девидаса. Встречались ли вы с кем-нибудь из Битлз? Have you ever met anyone from the Beatles? No, not really. Ну, нет, не совсем. Как они вели себя с Праупадой? Не было ли, например, высокомерия в их поведении? How, what was their uh, relationship with Shri Prabhupada? Is there was any uh, ignorance? Uh, Uh, so what about the uh, relationship with Shri Prabhupada? How they act with the Shri Prabhupada? Were they some, a little bit bold or ignorant with him or not? The Beatles. The Beatles. Another one, not Jeff George Harrison. Other. Others. Others. Well, I don't know that he met all the others. Well, I don't know how many people met with the Beatles. For some time, they were, the devotees were staying in the house of in the house of John Lennon. So Prabhupada met with John Lennon. At that time, also she he was with Yoko Ono. And so they met Prabhupada, and they understood Prabhupada was a very great saintly person. And they asked Prabhupada for blessings. They asked him, please bless us that we can be husband and wife in the next life also. Prabhupada said, no. I do not give those blessings. Any other question? Как вообще с женщинам быть? Вот если мужчинам, ну как бы надо принять отречение, как женщина должна себя вести в этом случае? В семье бедных? 
вообще нет, он допустил непреданных вот материально. How should the woman, or the, or the woman act if the husband want to uh, take renunciation? Well, you see, you sh if the husband wants to take renunciation, the woman will never approve. <laughs> Unlikely. Очень маловероятно, что какая-то жена она будет доверять своему мужу на тачин. Unless she is very devoted. Ну только если она очень очень преданная. And she has to, there has to be arrangement for the woman. Поэтому необходимо создать определенные условия для женщин. The husband has to arrange to, for the, the support of the woman. Он должен все организовать и готовить, чтобы была поддержка для нее в дальнейшем. Especially if there are children. Особенно если есть дети. То есть женщине нужно стремиться к тому, чтобы мужчина принял отречение. То есть вот это как бы лучшая задача женщины. So uh, the woman's goal is to encourage the husband to become more renounced. Yes. Да. Yeah. Yeah. Husband and wife, they should help each other in the path of Krishna consciousness. They should encourage each other to control the mind and senses. They should encourage each other to chant Hare Krishna. They should arrange, they should think of their home like a temple. And their home they should invite guests to come. And they should preach to them. Give them nice prasada and, and, and preach to them about Krishna consciousness. This is the duty of the grihastas. The grihastas, when they cook food, they're supposed to they're supposed to call out, "Is anybody hungry? Does anybody want some food? Food is ready in our home. Please come and eat." По традиции грихаса его обязанность, если он приготовил для себя какую-то пищу, то прежде чем поесть, он должен выйти на улицу и громко крикнуть. Если кто-то голодный, кто хочет кушать, у меня только что все, у меня все готово, заходите. In the Grihastha's home, the, even if there's a snake, they will feed the snake. И если даже в доме Грихаски поселилась ядовитая змея, то Грихаска должен позаботиться о ней и накормить ее. And there are mice and rats and so they will put some food out for the mouth. И если даже мыши и крысы живут, то тоже да, должны какую-то пищу для них оставлять. And Prabhupada told how his father had a shop in Calcutta. He was selling cloth. So every night he'd put a bowl of rice out for the mice. For the mice. Because if he doesn't feed the mice, the mice will eat the cloth. So better just give them some rice to eat. And then they won't eat the cloth. Even sometimes tigers in the jungle, the saintly persons, they will put food out for the tigers. And then this way the tigers will not bother the saintly people who are living in the forest. So Grihasta, they're meant to, like that, they're meant to take care of other living things. They're not meant to just, you know, be private. They don't want to keep themselves away from everyone. Делиться от всех, от всего мира, от общества и просто 
Just like a grihasta couple, they want to have a child, they will ask everyone, please bless us that we can have a child. And the generous people would say, yes, may you have a child, may you have a nice child. So, Grihastas, they, they want to get the blessings. And they get the blessings by by inviting people to come to your home and take prasadam. We, do, we often get invited to people's homes, they go to do kirtan. Someone gets a new house, the first thing they will do in the house, they will have a program, invite everyone to come. Все можно скажу. Вот из-за того, что я общаюсь с преданными, у меня иногда возникает чувство, что в Риндаван везде так вот как наступит вот так. И везде я вижу, как в Риндаван. Association with devotees. Sometimes I have a feeling that the uh, Vrindavan is everywhere, that the spiritual world is everywhere here. Yeah, it is. If you have that vision, you can see in everything in relation to Krishna. And Prabhupada said, he said, he said, I may be sitting here in New York. But actually, he said, I'm always thinking of Vrindavan. So Vrindavan is not just a place on the map. But the consciousness to enter into Vrindavan. Chanting every day, hearing about Krishna will help us to keep Vrindavan conscious. And that will protect, will protect us from Maya. We're always thinking of Krishna, we're thinking of Krishna is not different from Vrindavan. Krishna never goes away from Vrindavan. No Maya can go. Maya Есть ли какие-то случаи, когда жена может уйти от мужа, например, если ей грозит физическое насилие? А продолжение есть вопрос. Сразу если. Даже в семьях преданных есть такие случаи. Старшие обычно не могут помочь или вообще не вмешиваются. Может ли женщина в полицию обратиться в таком случае? Uh, there is um, abuse or physical violence in the family. So, in this case, is it possible for women to leave? Because there is even in a family of uh, devotees such things going on sometimes, and senior uh, devotees do not intervene or do not interact. So, sh what should we do? <laughs> or, uh, and can the wife? go to the police and uh, <laughs> in such case? 
Well, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, we have a pastime. Uh, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya had one daughter and she was married to another man called Amoga. So this son-in-law, this man Amoga, he was a Brahmin but he was proud and he did not appreciate Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So it happened that on one occasion Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya had asked Lord Chaitanya to come and take prasadam at his home. And and they prepared a big feast for him. So this son-in-law, this boy Amoga, he came and he said, Oh, just look, he's supposed to be a sannyasi and he's eating so much. So Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya heard the boy say this, he was very angry and he chased after him with a stick. He said, I invited Lord Chaitanya to come to my home and you have insulted him. But the boy ran away. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya was an old man. He so he said, tell my daughter that she is now a widow. Because if the husband is not in Krishna consciousness, потому что ее муж оскорбитель Амолха из-за своего здорового оскорбления он заболел тяжелой холерой. And he was very sick, very ill, he was dying. И он лежал уже практически умирал. But Lord Chaitanya came there. И туда пришел Господь Чайтанья. And Lord Chaitanya put his hand on his heart and said, don't keep envy in your heart. И Господь Чайтанья положил руку на его сердце и сказал, Амолха, ты же брама, не пускай эту эту зависть в свое сердце. Give up all your pride. Оставь свою гордыню. And in this way, by the touch of Lord Chaitanya's hand, the man was cured. И благодаря прикосновению Господа Чайтанья Амока исцелился. And Amoka became a humble devotee. И стал смиренным преданным. But the initial response from the father was, my son is now a widow. Ну, изначальная реакция отца была, все, теперь моя дочь вдова. Women go to police to bring her husband to court or to jail. Well, I don't know. That if she can leave it to Krishna, Krishna will take care. 
Ну, я не знаю, если честно. Я... Она может поставить это на усмотрение Кришны. Кришна заботится. The laws of karma are very fine. Законы кармы, они очень строги сами по себе. So if somebody has done something against the laws of karma, they will suffer. Если кто-то нарушает закон кармы, то он будет страдать. We get reaction. Он получит реакцию. You do something wrong, you get the reaction. Если вы делаете неправильно, то получаете реакцию. You will be punished. Вы будете наказаны. By the material nature. По закону материальной природы. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki. Jai. Shri Prabhupada ki.